Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're in iOS app, so that's iPhone or iPad, and I'm going to show you how you can take a single layer cut image and turn it into multi-layers. Now the iOS app is different to desktop in that when we go into contour, there's no hide all contours, which means we have to take everything away for each layer. However, because you can perfectly place things on top of each other in the iOS app, we can do it a little bit different to make it a little bit easier. So I've got my layer here. I'm going to go to edit and you can see it's set to basic cut. It's a single layer and I'm just going to change the color to a green. And in fact, I'm going to use the advanced color menu. I'm going to go to actions and then contour and I'm just going to take away everything except for these larger swells and I find that if you zoom right in on the iPad or the iPhone it makes it easier to select the areas that you want to add or remove. I can close contour down by either clicking on my canvas or by just clicking on the contour button again. If I go to actions and duplicate, I can duplicate that layer and I'm going to sit it perfectly on top. And it's really easy to do on iPad or iPhone. I'm going to go to edit and we're going to change the shade on that layer. I'm going to actions, open up my contour. I'm going to remove those two pieces and I always have to have one up. So I'm going to bring one back and then remove that one. And then I can bring back some of these other swirls. And again, close it down by clicking on the contour. Actions, duplicate the layer again. And again, I'm going to sit it perfectly on top, edit and I'm going to change the shade of green again. Actions and contour. And again, I'm going to take away those two and then bring back these little accents and then get rid of that one and close down the contour. Again, I'm going to duplicate that and sit it perfectly on top. And if you're ever struggling to get it perfectly on top again if you zoom right in it will allow you to sit them perfectly on top of each other i'm going to change the color again let's do another shade of green actions and contour and this time we're gonna do all the little circles and then take away all of these flourishes from the last layer. Again, duplicate and place those perfectly on top. Change the color to a yellow. Actions contour, bring back the stars and then get rid of the circles. And I do find zooming in does give you a lot more control. Again, I can duplicate that. Change the color to a brown actions and contour, bring back the tree stump and get rid of the stars. And we've then created our layers. Now the difference between a cut and a draw is that if we were going to do this as a draw, we would now come in, draw around and attach them all together. If we do that with a cut and we go to actions, attach, they're all going to become one attached layer. The whole point of creating those multi layers is that we can cut them all in the different layer colors. And then whether we're using vinyl, iron on, even cardstock. So I'm going to undo that. And if we went to make it, each color layer would now cut on a separate mat and we would then layer them together. 
As always, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.